My buddy Chase Gartner is both a snow goose guide and a heck of a gun dog trainer. I stopped by last year for a quick refresher with Chester and to hunt late season ducks with him on the legendary Missouri River. So we got Chester here. We uh, did about a three month training program with him this summer. Went pretty well. He's a very high drive dog, still very young and mature. Um, he's done a lot of upland hunting, which is great, but we've kind of noticed that with the upland birds, his hold and delivery's gotten a little sloppy um, since he's left here. So we're just gonna do a quick, uh, quick obedience run through tune up, do some walking fetch, with some bumpers and then probably just throw and shoot some short duck marks um, probably just here in the yard or maybe out in the cornfield so we're going to walk them around on the lead for a little bit take them off the lead just do some basic obedient stuff that he already knows um, and then kind of see how that how that force to fetch force to bumper goes heel sit so there i just gave him a small nick on heel um he was wanting to wander off there but just kind of getting him and getting that in his head that we're going to be doing some stuff here and want all his attention on me and what we're doing here Sit. heel Sit. Sit. As you can see, he's real bouncy, real excited. He's he's healing okay and walking with me okay. I'm gonna take the lead off. Just kind of walk around with him at heel. Heel. When I stop, I want him to stop too. When I back up, I want him to back up with me. Good. Here. Heel. Heel. Sit. As you can see, he's ready to go for a walk. He's got his lead in his mouth. and Okay, now we're going to cut the tape and uh, I'm going to go get some bumpers and do a little re-up on uh, what we call walking fetch. Good. So basically what we're doing is I'm just having them pick these up with the fetch command and I'm applying uh, collar pressure on about just every other one. Um, you can see the natural reaction just when I say fetch, he's definitely picking it up. Uh, so I mean, you can definitely tell he's fully force fetch, but I just kind of wanted to give him a little bit of um, extra pressure to just kind of reinforce it in his head. So even on this first one here, I'm gonna make it a little bit hotter for him. And you'll definitely notice a quicker reaction from him lunging to the bumper from this spot. Fetch. Good, heel. Making him hold the bumper for just a little bit. So this one, no pressure, heel. You can see he's already wanting to go for it, just knowing what's coming. So that's why when you're doing this, you don't want to use the collar pressure every time. You want the dog to be able to do it on their own. Good job. Fetch. Good boy. Heel. Sit. Fetch. Heel. Heel.
Good boy. Good boy. So that was really a great way to end it there. He was really reaching for it with no pressure. Um, got a good hold on it right now. You can tell he's already getting a little tired of this. So we're gonna put him up for a minute and set up a couple wingers and actually throw some dead ducks for him. Um, see how he does with steadiness and bringing the actual dead birds back to hand. So it's gonna give him a little fun bumper here and get those wingers set up. Good job, bud. Hey! Come here, Chester. Good man, right here. Heel. Sit. Good. Good job. Sit. Good man. So what we're doing here, we're just gonna set up a couple winger marks out here in the corn. Um, they're going to be relatively easy between, you know, 50 and 75 yards. And uh, we'll just run, run them as singles with Chester. Um, just want to kind of want to check his steadiness and delivery. And then uh, I'll actually run my dog Avit on this setup probably as a little double. And then I'll uh, do like an under the arc blind or um, through the old fall blind and see how that goes. But beautiful day, and it's about a high of 65 on Black Friday. We're gonna go do some duck hunting tomorrow. Duck hunting's been tough, but we're gonna go out and get some of these young dogs, um, some little bit of experience. Hopefully, we get some birds and a good little action, and it'll be a fun day. Stand clear. Oh yeah, that should be nice and visible for the dogs. I think we'll set this other one not very far. We'll kind of throw this as what's called a mom and pop, where you throw one, um, call it a mom and pop or a flower pot, where you just throw two birds um, each in the opposite direction. Run it as a single or a double. Um, it's a great concept for memory birds, for young dogs. So once we throw the birds and pick the birds up, I'm going to put this blind back deeper to where I have to get control of the dog to punch through that suction there where they already picked up a bird. A young dog or any dog, they're going to naturally want to probably hunt around in that area instead of taking the proper cast to come back here deeper uh, to pick up this blind. And I'm going to not put it too far back here. I'm going to try to make this fairly straightforward. The setup we're doing, we're not really trying to, you know, we're not training for the field trial open. It's a little tune up for the young dog and a little tune up for one of the older dogs. So yeah, we got it all set up and we'll probably go get my older golden and run her first just to see um, if we need to change anything for the young dog captain. Last thing you want is bad connection. We're trying to get a correction. Mark. Avid. Not a lot of wind right now to help, which is good. Makes it a little harder. We'll come back and pick up this memory bird, severely angled back. What's that mark? Good. Avid! We picked the right side of the gun, and she did. What we're actually gonna do here is throw what's called a diversion bird. 
We'll actually wait till she runs the blind. Here. Sit. And then I'm already bringing her into heel, being lined up with that blind. Drop. Drop it. Good. Dead bird. Set. Set. Good. Back. 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 You ran right over it there at the end. We're gonna throw this diversion bird here. Where's that mark? Heel. Where's that mark? I don't think she saw it. Caught a win there. There we go. Like the geese are really starting to come out here. Heel. Good job. What we're going to do here with Chester is run these marks as singles in the cornfield. Uh, biggest thing I'm looking for is just steadiness from him. If he does happen to break, I'm going to give him a pretty stern correction. And we're probably going to pick him up, put him away for about five minutes, um, let him think about it, and then come back out and try throwing him again. Here. 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 Sit. Up here. Sit. Up here. Sit. Good. Good. Sit. Chester. There you go, buddy. There you go. Good boy, here. Got a boy, bring it here. Good man, good man. Hold, hold, right here. Up here, up here, up here. Sit. Sit. You're okay. Fetch. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. Sit. Sit. Mark. Chester. Good boy here. Right here. Good. Good boy. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Good boy, Chester. Up here. Here. Good. See what I kind of did there when he was sagging his head with the duck? 
just kind of here, up here, to get them to. I don't like it when you're like, as you try to reach for it, they dip their head lower. Like, make them try to bring it up to you, you know? And that's it. Sack, gonna harvest a bunch. Mushroom on the stump, mushroom on the stump, mushroom on the stump, mushroom on the stump. Well, it's a big morning. I'm um, heading out on the Missouri River. The temperatures are not what you want for this. It's about 44 degrees right now in the pre dawn. It's gonna be in the 50s today. But we have sun and wind, and two days ago there was a real hard freeze. We're hoping the river's holding some birds. Um, it's tough, but you aren't gonna kill them not going. So, in the area for uh, Thanksgiving, so figured, yeah, what the heck, come meet my buddy Chase, do some, uh, try to kill some mallards. Um, we'll see what happens. I mean, you never know on this body of water, but we got the two ingredients we want, which are supposed to be sun and wind so as long as those happen never know what could happen as long as you have a good hide and a spread of decoys out so see what happens one of my uh, definitely one of my favorite places to hunt just for the almost nostalgia of being in such a such a cool spot so all right stay tuned i think we'll take it down and like cut over kind of might have to have someone look at the phone but we'll try to cut over, like get in there or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or anywhere in there with the, cause that'll probably shallow up. How we doing, Jordan? Good. Got him on the water. I'll take it. Basil, get him, get him, get him. Nice, nice shot. There he was. Hey. Nice shot. Good dog. 